back to my channel and if you're new hey what's up my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video as always there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see smash the subscribe button hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up I do try to post as regularly as possible and with as many new releases as possible so you want to be sure to be subscribed and to turn that notification bell on now I'm still nasally, I'm still sick, it's not totally gone yet, I still have like the hot and cold flashes and all that going on, so uh, bear with me, I can't wait to be back to normal. Now this video is a first impressions of a essentially full face, and then I did the eye tutorial separately, but I tested out so much, like so much. This new brand, Onami, uh, for me, a new brand, I bought a crap ton of their products. Unfortunately, most of it was a miss if you are layering it with makeup. I think if you're somebody who likes to do no makeup but you still want a little something out of the products, that Onami will give it to you. You'll see when I'm demoing it. But as a base to foundation, it's not good. At least it wasn't good with the hourglass foundation that I tested out today. I actually put the hourglass over top of all of the Anami products and it looked horrific. It was sitting on top of my skin. It created pores. It created fine lines. It looked like cake foundation. It didn't blend or mesh well at all. I removed everything, reprimed, and then tried the Hourglass Veil Primer and then the foundation again after I color corrected and did all of that shebang. And then the foundation was beautiful. It's still beautiful. It's been hours. It's not settling into fine lines. It's not exaggerating anything. It blended beautifully. I love this foundation. It is really good. I also tested out the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. So beautiful. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder under my eyes, the Laura Mercier Translucent Press Setting Powder. Those were beautiful. I tested out two but swatched four of the new Buxom blushes that have the primer infused and they are pigmented. I did like one dab in each of the two colors, tapped off my brush and it was like whoosh, pigment. So just beware but they are beautiful blushes and I think the staying power will be 12 hours for sure. You just need a very light hand. I also tested out the Tom Ford Glow Drops. I think this is better mixed in with a foundation or just put on your face to give you a nice glow. It's not really like a highlight. So I wasn't thrilled with the liquid glow for what I was hoping to achieve, but I think mixing it with foundation is going to be beautiful and I'm going to try that soon. I also tested out two of the Tom Ford Radiant Perfecting Powder Highlights. These are stunning. I showed you and swatched the Becca Chloe Malika palette. I showed you the heart love letters. I didn't use that, this, but I did swatch it. I did lip swatch four of the Chloe Malika Becca lipsticks. These are bomb. They feel amazing. The color payoff is beautiful. It's very pigmented. It glides on easily. I love this. I also tested out an hourglass lip liner in the color canvas. This is beautiful. I love this too. I tried out the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. This is awesome. This mist is so fine. You don't even feel it hitting your face, but it's really refreshing and glowy and beautiful. There's a lot from Anami that I tried out too that you'll just see coming up because to me, I didn't like anything except the Boosting Lip and Cheek Stick. I got one color in Toasted Papaya. Rani, 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 toasted papaya. I didn't try it on the cheeks, but it is very nice on the lips. I also tested and swatched the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Eye Coals. These come with little uh, liner or sharpeners. Um, I'm not sure if these guys are really worth it. 
So far the staying power is really great in my tight line, but not so much in the water line. But my eye, especially this one, is running like crazy. So I do have to test these out further. But on first like glance, it's not something that I would totally recommend. And the hourglass <laughs> is so cute. I picked up samples of this from Sephora so I could test it earlier than it comes out and I tried the shade Vanish and this is really good. Then, oh my goodness, I tried out a couple of brushes. I am in love with the Sonia G Base 2 for contour. This was really beautiful. I also tested, oh my gosh, oh the Sonia G Sculpt 3 for my spotlight highlight instead of my Sigma and this was also really beautiful. I lip swatched two of the Tom Ford Lumiere lips and these are really nice. Not really any color payoff but the formula is amazing. Holy cow. Like I tested out a lot. Alright and then my eyes there we go, is the Kevin O'Quan Emphasize Eye Design Palette in Unblinking, which I just did in a separate video because I knew this one was like, holy cow, so long, so many products, but we got through it. So if you want to see all of this in action, then just keep on watching. All right, I want to do a full phase of first impressions. So I have a lot of different brands and different products that we're going to be putting to the test. I did get four samples of the new Hourglass foundation with my last few Sephora purchases so that way I could test this out before it launches. So I'm really excited to try the foundation out. The only shade that remotely looked like it would work for me from what you could choose from was the shade Shell. So I do have four of those. And then I have a bunch of stuff from Anami. They had the cutest post on Instagram with like this little animal and I was like, oh my god, I love this brand and I kept looking through their feed and it's like the most beautiful feed with like the makeup and the animals and their products and then their posts and it's just awesome. So you should really check out Anami's Instagram because it is bomb and we're going to try out a lot of their products so hopefully their products are also awesome. I did buy everything that I'm demoing. None of this is PR. Obviously none of it is sponsored. This is just me loving makeup and buying makeup. So we are going to start with the Anami. Did I forget to silence my phone again? I bet you I did. No, I remembered. <laughs> so I have quite a few products. There's a powerful priming serum. So I have already moisturized, put cream on, so we're going to see how this serum works over top of it. And it's a clinical skin tone corrector radiance booster. And I am still sick, so I apologize. But it's fragrance, paraben, alcohol, and phthalate free, which is amazing. The ingredients in all of these products from Anami are amazing, which is why I wanted to buy all of this. So. This one says, corrects with the power of a serum, preps with the staying power of a primer. It's an all-in-one treatment that corrects like the serum while delivering active skincare ingredients while also functioning as a lightweight primer to allow makeup to wear and last longer. Providing a powerful antioxidant blend of daisy flower extract and blackjack tanical, a natural form oh, of retinol. Our formula clinically demonstrates a visible improvement in skin tone evenness. Plus, with a high concentration of willow bark extract, the treatment goes beyond extending the longevity of makeup by gently exfoliating to reveal smoother, more radiant skin. You use it day and night, and you can use it with or without makeup. All right, I'm a little bit on the fence that this has a retinol for a primer because I, you know, if your skin starts exfoliating, that does worry me a little bit with is it going to start like pilling and balling and doing all that stuff. So we shall see. If for some reason the foundation doesn't wear correctly, I'll try it again with another primer as well. And then I have this ACE, A-C-E. 
Illuminating Eye Treatment. It's an activated line correcting highlighter with 10% vitamin C and it has a high concentration of 10% pure and stabilized vitamin C. Our illuminating treatment is clinically demonstrated to diminish the appearance of fine lines around the eyes where the first signs of aging are most likely to occur. Instantly, skin looks brighter and existing fine lines are visibly minimized with light reflecting high purity pigments. With a potent yet gentle complex of vitamins A, C, and E, this antioxidant rich treatment visibly improves fine lines and restores radiance for younger and healthier looking skin. You pat it along the outer or outer orbital eye bone and top of cheekbones. You can use it as a highlighter or mix it with foundation or concealer for an all over glow. A slight tingling sensation is normal and safe. Then they have a bright concealing elixir, clinical dark circle correcting concealer for eyes. I'm gonna use this as like my corrector instead and then a different concealer because I'm here for full coverage. But this one says, patent pending botanical formula to rid your eyes of dark circles. A small drop of our lightweight hydrating elixir, a mixture of corrective skin care and perfecting makeup actives is clinically demonstrated to diminish the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Instantly skin is brighter and perfected with medium to high coverage of high purity mineral pigments. With a new unique complex of ingredients including night sleeper extract, Egyptian lupine and alfalfa extract, this clever formulation visibly improves dark circles, it diminishes puffiness and brightens for well rested and younger looking skin around the eyes. Start with a small drop from the inner corner of the eye and follow across the under eye area. Next, there is an AHA Perfecting Setting Powder. It has hydrating AHAs, revitalizing peptides, and time-released vitamin C. I'm really excited to try the setting powder out. And it says a lightweight, sheer, and silky setting powder infused with lactic acid for hydration and exfoliation. Again, we're gonna have to see how this works. So if Hourglass doesn't work, we're gonna give her another go. Uh, it has peptides for collagen boosting and time-released vitamin C to block free radicals, even skin tone, and smooth fine lines. Our innovative encapsulated formula provides lasting wear and all-day delivery of beneficial nutrients to the skin. Apply uh, after makeup, there's a powder puff, or use a powder brush and dust off any excess powder for a smooth, silky finish. And again, these are all free of fragrance, paraben, alcohol, and phthalates. Then I have, I picked up only one shade of the Boosting Lip and Cheek Stick. It's a hydrating balm and collagen enhancing actives with a hint of color. This is Rani or Rainy. So it's a hydrating, plumping balm with a hint of buildable color to give you a smooth, a healthy natural glow. Our dual function smoothing balm is packed with powerful extracts that are clinically proven to promote microcirculation, soften fine lines, and boost collagen production with continued use over time. After moisturizing, lightly dot the balm onto lips and cheeks directly from the stick. Use your fingers, a makeup sponge, or a blush brush to blend as needed. Apply more pressure or layer the balm to produce a deeper shade. Use as part of your daily makeup routine and throughout the day as needed. Keep your balm clean by wiping with a tissue after use. And then the last product is their Radical Setting Mist. This sounded so bomb. It is a free radical defense, a long lasting makeup, and a refreshing hydration. Refreshing, replenishing setting mist filled with plant based antioxidants to defend against free radicals, pollution, and premature aging. Our Radical Setting Mist provides a boost of hydration, extends the life of your makeup, and leaves skin with a glowy natural finish, and it can be used with or without makeup for an on-the-go skin refresh. And this, again, is free of everything bad. On their website, it says, Smart Skin Starts Here. The latest skincare technology combined with easy-to-wear makeup for effortless beauty that nourishes your skin. It has the highest quality ingredients, clinically demonstrated products, 
skincare results you can see and advanced skincare and makeup in one. So now I'm going to go to, we're going to start with, should I spray this? Maybe let's just spray this first and then we'll put the primer on. So that you get 150 milliliters or 5.1 fluid ounces. It's a really pretty light pink nude bottle, nice and sleek and to the point. It's made in Korea. Shake well, close eyes and hold bottle eight to 10 inches away. All right. It's a little bit of a harsh mist. I'm slightly concerned about this over makeup. Whoa, that really comes out. All right, let that dry down and then we'll do the serum. You get one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters. There are no directions on the primer bottle. So just as apply to clean skin all over and then that's when you can use it day and night. It is a very glowy. Now I know my skin was glowy before, but this definitely added some glow. And I do have a couple breakouts. Now that I have my diagnosis with endometriosis, I'm on hormone therapy and it keeps causing like periods that are happening every 10 days. My body is so out of whack. So I need to go back and see my doctor because what I'm on is not working and my skin is really suffering too. But that's like the last side effect of everything else that sucks. So don't mind that. And we're just going to pump. Well, it looks kind of creamy. I don't smell anything. It feels really nice. Damn my dark circles. When I am sick and I have a flare up from my RA, there is no hiding anything. My skin shows all of it. Well, it feels really nice and that went over moisturizer with no problem. All right, so the website wants you to use the bright concealing elixir first and then the illuminating eye treatment. So when you go on their site, it shows you what to do. So let's start with the concealer. I have Germain Fair Neutral and I was taking total Wild, woo, wild guesses. Oh, okay, that's really runny. All right, that's how it looks. Has a very peach undertone, which will be good for color correcting. I would definitely consider this to be a light coverage. So this would be really good on like no makeup makeup days when you just want a little bit of something but you don't want to go heavy. That's not my jam but this might be really nice underneath a concealer. Now the ACE Illuminating Eye Treatment. Oh, you get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of the concealer, 0.33 ounces or 10 milliliters of this treatment. Oh, she's like a little pearlized situation. And kind of whipped, like a little bit moussey. So it wants to go here. It's very whipped, it's pretty thick.
it has a very minimal scent if you like are right up on it but I didn't smell anything until I got down to my nose and I don't smell it now either this would be really pretty without makeup just to kind of lighten up the skin it's not a highlight like what I use for a highlight but it's it would be a nice just bare skin natural looking beautiful glow and then stick you get 0.28 ounces or 8 grams comes with a protective cap okay I'm not going to use that as a cheek color but we'll try it out as a balm that's pigmented <laughs> I don't think I needed to swipe a more than one time it's nice though. And then we're gonna move on to foundation and then we have the setting powder. So, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Shake well before each use. Apply with the foundation brush. I don't have that one, but I've got plenty of brushes. Uh, for the most seamless finish, formula is highly concentrated. Only a small amount is needed and they want you to prep with their hourglass veil. It is a beautiful primer, but I do want to try it with this. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> Probably be using the entire bottle. Oh, this is like on there. There we go. This is the cutest. Thing. Oh, it's like a little applicator, the way the little Dior ones had. Better cover up these enemies. I guess let's start with that. I'm gonna take, I do have no, new brushes to also try out, but it's a lot of new products already on the face that I'm testing, so I'm gonna stick with my normal Luxie round top blender. I wanna say it's 522, but it's so worn off. I don't know, but it's the round top blender. Oh, I didn't go damp in my beauty blender. All right, I'll have to do that in a minute. Oh, this color is pretty good for me. It has a nice fragrance too, it's not strong. It's very pleasurable and light. This is such a good shade match. I'm so lucky for a sample where I literally had one shade to choose from because everything else got really dark. All right, I don't like the way this is looking like at all. It is super cakey. Oh, so I think I'm going to take this off and try with another primer and see if it still looks this, like it's just sitting on the skin. It's not really blending. Damn. That scares me to test the powder out if I don't like the primer with this. I mean, it might not even be the Anami. It could be the foundation, but it is emphasizing fine lines. It's like creating texture. Every pore is visible. The foundation you can see. Like this does not look pretty at all. So I'm going to remove it, reprime, and then I will be right back. All right, I've now reprepped and primed and I color corrected using my Urban Decay color corrector in Peach. And I've used their, their, their the Hourglass Mineral Primer uh, Veil. It's oil free. It is very runny. Woo! It looks like that. It feels wonderful though. 
I don't know why I squirted out an entire... Yeah, <laughs> it is a really nice primer. It feels extremely silky smooth. Like, I mean, silk. It is really, really nice. So, I have my Beauty Blender dampened. Let's try this again. Start there and see if we have to build. This already looks way nicer. I think there's room to build for sure, but this foundation is beautiful. So all those Anami products just did not work well with this at all. But now I'm gonna build a little bit more. This is pretty full coverage with one, like a good solid medium to full with one layer. Alright, I like this a lot initially. This looks really good. I still have to do my neck. So I'm going to quickly do my neck off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm going to try out the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. It is full coverage, long lasting, anti-dark circle correcting concealer. That was a mouthful. I have number three. Well, it might not have been, oh, it has a sponge. Okay, this might not actually be light enough. And I remember online thinking like, damn, those shades look pretty light. But I guess we're about to find out. Prime it a lot apparently. Yeah, I could have done with like one shade lighter, I think. Oh, maybe not. I would definitely prefer a more traditional applicator than this, but if the product is amazing, then I will take it. This is very pretty. Ooh, I like this a lot. It's pretty full covering too. I mean, it's natural, but it covers really nicely. I do need a little bit of a darker shade though. I'm gonna take the excess. I am going to 
add a little bit of my light. I have a bunch of different colors in the Tarte Shape Fake. I think I'll take a little bit of Fair Neutral. This one's pretty light. Well, they mix nicely, so that's good. I am really, really loving this base makeup now, like a lot. All right, so now I have a lot from Tom Ford. I have two glow drops. These are the Tom Ford Soleil Glow Drops. I have 01 Liquid Sun and 02 Liquid Sky. It says, Nothing. <laughs> All right, so let's see what Liquid Sun looks like. Ooh, I like the bottle. So we're not gonna go with Liquid Sky. That is super icy. I kind of feel like this is actually meant for the bare face. Or maybe it's just because I am an insane highlight person. Yeah, like it doesn't really give much glow. Well, it gives glow. It doesn't give much like highlight, blinding effect. I mean, I'll try a little bit. I don't want to wreck the foundation though. Yeah, I think this will be beautiful to mix in with foundation, but it's not really highlighty. My hand is going to be very well moisturized after this. Oh, I'm scared to try the Anami powder now. It says Lion Translucent. I do like the packaging. Comes with a little mirror powder puff. Ah, okay, here's to hoping. That just darkened it. <sighs> After finally brightening, this just got dark. And it's like majorly emphasizing fine lines. And it feels like gritty. Like so gritty. Oh my god, that just completely wrecked my under eye. <sighs> I am so frustrated. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, I removed my entire under eye area, recolor corrected, put the Charlotte Tilbury and the Tarte Shape Tape all back on so we are back to like scratch, no powder. We're now going to try Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. A genius light, diffu light diffusing loose powder that blurs, visibly reduces dark shadows, and boosts radiance. Use all over face, matching skin tone for an enhanced complexion or in a lighter shade under eyes for a brightening effect. I don't even know what I picked up. And it is not telling me what color I picked up. Number one, fair. All right, perfect. Woo! That does not smell good. I'm just gonna test it under the eyes because I have another powder for the face from Tom, Tom Ford that we're gonna try today in lieu of my long comb the patch. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Whew, this has a really strong fragrance. is it's almost like organic but like manure organic <laughs> not quite manure but like it's there but 
but it is a really nice powder. It's set beautifully. It's not creasy. Didn't darken everything, so we're good. So the Charlotte Tilbury products have been a win. And I already love, love, love. It stays in my top drawer. Blue Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath foundations. This is a beautiful, like, so good. I love Charlotte Tilbury and her lip collagen. While we're here, I can't get enough of. Shabby Bex, you did ask me about this versus the Algenist. And I like this more than the Algenist. I feel like they're both really nourishing, but this one I don't like the taste that I get. Like it leaves this bad aftertaste where this is just really nice and refreshing. And I am an Algenist affiliate, so sorry Algenist, but I just, I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury collagen over that collagen. Okay, now I have two setting powders from Tom Ford. I have, they're called Radiant Perfecting Powder. I have number one, Gilt Glow, and number two, Luna. Radiant Perfecting Powder. Of course, it comes in its own little dust bag. I love Tom Ford's packaging too, it's really nice. Okay, how do you open? <laughs> there we go. Seems more like a highlighter. Oh yeah, that's a highlight. It's very pretty. And then number two, Luna. It's also very pretty, wow. Peachier. Yeah, these are beautiful. Okay, so that's gonna be for highlighting. All right, I did this during an unboxing, but I haven't tested it out yet, so it's out of the packaging, but it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Pressed Setting Powder. Looks like that. So I'm just gonna test this out. Well, that set the face really beautifully. Get my roots done tomorrow too, so please ignore. All right, so I like this powder. It does set really nicely. It's mattifying, so it's not my very luminous long comb powder that I like super love, but it is a good setting powder. Uh, I'm going to contour and bronze off of camera because I don't have anything new to contour or bronze. Oh, wait. Uh, this was the setting pow illuminating powder. This is what I had in mind with the Tom Ford <sighs> when I opened up the highlights. I went to test this out. So this will be in another video. <laughs> and I don't think I have bronzer. I have the Becca uh, Chloe Kardashian Malika collab. Hold up. All right, I have some lipsticks that I will try out. And then I have the BFF's Glow Letter and Bronze Blush and Glow Palette. So this, the reflection is intense. The uh, Glow Letters is created in collaboration with BFFs Khloe Kardashian and Malika Hack. Hack? I don't think I've ever heard her name said on TV, like her last name. Our limited edition baked highlighting letters create an irresistible high beam glow. Shimmering bronze and champagne pearls dance with multicolored pigments to reflect light for mesmerizing luminosity. Lightly swirl your brush in the jar and apply to the high points of the face or use letters individually and apply directly to skin for a more concentrated glow. That's super fun. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, that looks really broken. It broke. Why does Alta do this to me all the time? But that does look pretty, so we'll, we'll try her out. 
And then the has a soft matte bronzer, a soft focus highlighter, and two radiant blushes. Okay, I'm in love with the packaging. That is the cutest thing ever. And I guess that's the highlight, the blushes, and the bronzer. Oh, that's nice and creamy. That is a pretty intense blush. Uh, and then the other blush. Damn. So they're pigmented. There's the highlighter that's beautiful. And the bronzer. It's a little bit golden. I like my cool toned Marc Jacob more than this. So I don't think I'm gonna bronze with it. I don't even know what I'm doing for my eye look yet to like get into highlight and blush like this. But that's what that looks like. All right, I'm going to quickly contour. I'm going to bronze off camera because I know I'm not gonna be happy with that color on my skin tone and then I will be back to blush and highlight. All right, I picked up four of the Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blushes. I got these babies. So we have Meknos, which is a peachy, Seychelles, which is a nudie, Havana, a light pink, and Dolly, a darker pink. And I really want to try these blushes out. So let me pop these open. Extend your vacay glow lock in luminous true color spiked with skin loving hyaluronic acid Who doesn't love that? Oh, this is super cute So this is the peachy one which is Meknos Then the nudie one Seychelles that looks really pretty These look really nice it's a really nice mauve. It's really nice. That's not what I was expecting from the packaging. So far, all three of these colors look beautiful. And then Dolly. Oh, even Dolly. This is a much darker pink. More mauve-y. Ooh, that feels really creamy. Whoa. Okay, so these are pigmented. Holy cow. That was Havana. Now we're gonna do Seychelles. I'm thinking of mixing Seychelles. Yeah, it's a nice nude. With Mykonos. Yeah, it's a nice peach. So I'm gonna mix those two together. Oh, I have the Carity blushes too. Ah, there's gonna be a lot of first impressions coming up. So I'm gonna dip into, uh, oh my gosh, Seychelles first and then Mykonos. Okay, these are so pigmented. Yeah, so if you wanna mix, uh, beware that even when you dab your brush off, two dunks is a lot. We are definitely going to try to diffuse that. Because holy cow, I like blush, but So I'm going to take my translucent powder and try to tone it down a little bit more. These are beautiful, but damn, a little goes a really long way. All right, now we're gonna test out the Tom Ford highlights. I'm gonna start with 02 Luna from my base and then 01 Gilt Glow to Spotlight. I did try out a new contour brush, which I really enjoyed. It's the Sonia G Face 2. I liked that big time. And I'm going to try out the Sonia G 
Sculpt 3 as my spotlight highlighter and see how I like that. But first, the Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki number 1 brush. Now taking Gilt Glow. These are beautiful highlights. Like beautiful. All right, I also have these Tom Ford Soleil Shade and Illuminate Eye Coal Duos. So this is 01 Soleil Brulant. Well, oh, it comes with a little sharpener. That's nice. Though I bought four of these and I don't need four sharpeners. Okay, so one's more nude and then that end is white. Ooh, the nude is actually more like gold sparkle. That's super pretty. We have 04 Solaris. That is a rich dark chocolate. And like a nice deep nudie bronze color. 02 La Ventura. This is a very beautiful nude glittery shade, shimmery shade. Nice teal. And then the last one I have is 03 Aurora. It has a bronzy. And then this looks purple. Yeah. So those are the eye coals. I'm going to run with the dark chocolate. Let's see how tight lighting goes. Very pigmented. I like it a lot. Let's just do this on the waterline for now. You know, I really do try a light color in the waterline, and I just end up adding the dark one anyway. Just kind of how I like it. I know this looks crazy without eyeshadow. All right, I also have two lippies from Tom Ford. They're Lumiere Lip. I have it in Lumiere and 03 Rougier. Let's try Lumiere first. Such pretty packaging. TF. Ooh. Lumiere is very much a coral, but I think it's going to be sheer. So this just really is a nourishing, it looks beautiful, little bit of a plumping, like not tingling plumping, but just because it's so nourishing and it fills in all the fine lines, just like a nice little lip balm. So then we are going to try out 03 Rougier. Ooh, it's pink. Are these just gonna be totally colorless? I mean, it gave a little pink, like a little pink, not pink. So it is really nice though, but I would recommend getting a one and for keeping in your purse because it's like beautiful. It feels really nice. It just 
it's like very bougie to pull out of your purse if you just need a balm but it's also expensive for just a balm so it's going to depend what you're looking for but the formula is really nice now i have four of the chloe uh malika lipsticks from becca two are in gold and two are in silver i'm not sure what that means but we have N yours truly and C brave in the silver and then N Cupid's kiss and W hot tamale in the gold so I'm not really sure we're gonna start with the silver packaging ultimate lipstick love introducing BFFs Chloe and Malika's favorite shades of our new ultimate lipstick love in their perfect nudes and reds it's a silky satin lip color infused with hyaluronic acid Ultra creamy, pure color pigments coated in light reflecting oils deliver high impact color in a single swipe. Infused with lip loving avocado oil, the formula nourishes lips, leaving them kissably smooth and drenched in illuminated color. You know, I'm not sure if I've actually tried Becca Cosmetics lipsticks. I have a whole bunch that I just hauled, but I don't think I've ever tried them. Nice nude. smells really good. It's really nice. It's not overpowering. It's a really pretty nude. I love this. I can't believe how badly my eye is leaking though. I want to scream. Alright, on to the next. Now we have C Brave. That looks like a nice red. That's nice and juicy. These feel really wonderful and the color payoff is really there. All right, two more to go. Now W Hot Tamale. Okay, this is more of an orange red. These are really nice. I am really blown away. Like, so good. All right, one more nude. I also picked up the Hourglass Longwear Lip Liner in Panoram no, Panoramic Longwear Lip Liner in Canvas. Oh, you come with the sharpener. May as well try this baby out as well. Has a brush on one side. That would be nice for blending. This is a really hard brush. That's nice and creamy. I like the color. And the last shade is N Cupid's Kiss in the Becca Malika Chloe collab. <laughs> That's really nice too. All right, so these are a complete win, and I'm assuming the rest of the Becca lipsticks are gonna be the same formula. So I have a lip swatching video of the new launches, new colors coming up in a little bit. I'm gonna go do that, but I am very impressed with this. Uh, so aside from the fact that my eye is pouring, I'm gonna go get dressed, do my hair, and I will be right back. 
I just realized I have another setting spray that I can try since I am way too terrified to try the Autumn It's the Beauty Blender Redo Set and Refresh Spray. I want you to shake the bottle well so the two phases combine. Okay, so there's two phases and you can retouch makeup, spritz a, sat spritz a saturated sponge to easily re-blend. Do not freeze, close eyes before misting, shake before using. And I wanna say, yeah, hydrolyzed uh, uh, hyaluronic acid and there's no alcohol in this. I thought it looks like a good one. And you get 1.69 ounces or 50 milliliters. You can't beat this packaging. I really like this a lot. <gasps> I haven't actually like looked at anything. I was just like, oh, I need to try that. I need to try that. I need to try that for the channel. And this is beautiful. So it comes double capped. Oh, that's nice. You can't even feel it. It's, oh, okay. It's leaking out of the cap for some reason, but this is nice. It is so fine. I don't think I've ever tried a mist so fine, but it's just really leaking. But aside from that, this is beautiful. All right, now I'll be right back. Thanks so much for watching this video. My eye is running like I'm going to cry. <laughs> I really hope that this was very helpful for you guys. We powered through a ton of products, so many different brands, and most of this was amazing. So I'm very happy with it. Let me know if you guys like this video. I feel like I can cram a lot more if I'm doing like a full face and then a separate eye tutorial. So let me know if you guys prefer this kind of a video or the individual videos because I obviously can't get to individual ones as often but if I do all of these then I can do you know one video with a ton of new products so let me know what your thoughts are and that does it for this video so until next time good night good morning wherever you are I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later bye guys